I can see there's a lot of stuff taking place at any given time. There's rallies, people are on the border. Uh, presently, we have uh, people operating in the Laredo area and the El Paso area. Um, the border itself this year has been somewhat different. Uh, we moved into a new location in the Laredo area, so it took us a little while to get our feet on the ground. But according to the Border Patrol, who says they are very pleased with our presence, that the number of crossings have dwindled considerably in that area. We just got in the El Paso area on the 1st, so uh, we are having some results there, but it takes a little while to get the word out that there's a new sheriff in town that did not to come across the border. We did have an incident on the border some of y'all have heard about, so I'll give y'all an update. And that was the downing of the helicopter from the American Border Patrol that was on loan to U.S. Border Watch and the Texas Men Men. It was supporting ground operations, basically trying to flush some illegal aliens from a brushed area. But uh, it encountered mechanical problems very close to the ground, about 150 feet, and crashed just inside the Texas border. Uh, that was on Friday afternoon around 6 o'clock. The pilot did suffer some injuries, but they are not life-threatening. We're very happy to report that. This is the second time in the last two operations that we've had an incident involving injuries. There is no doubt that what these individuals do on the border is a very, very dangerous job. They are doing the job that the United States federal government will not do. They operate in very hazardous conditions and accidents are going to happen. One of these days, one of those proud patriots are going to give their life for this country. But they all are volunteers, just like the armies that we have sent around this world. They're volunteers. They know what they're getting into. They know the risk. But we must always keep them in our thoughts and prayers because we don't know at this very moment what may be going on in El Paso, Laredo, Del Rio. The border is extremely unpredictable, extremely violent, and extremely dangerous for those individuals who are down there. And we definitely want to say thank you to them. I'm going to bring another speaker forward.